welcome back to Average Joe's and I'm Jessie and today I'm going to go through all of my owned TBR and uh, there's 41 of them. To some people that might not be a lot but to me that's a lot. I have a lot of books that I haven't read and we're going to go through them and maybe why I haven't read them or let's just dive in. A few of these will be repeats from a couple of the other videos that I've done in the past, but we're going to dive in and we're going to see what these are all about. So the first one is Wild at Heart by Kay Tucker. Uh, the reason I haven't read this one is I don't know, and that's probably going to be the reason for most of these. Uh, this one, I think maybe because it's so thick, it's 400, it's almost 450 pages. That shouldn't seem daunting to me, but it kind of is, especially when uh, I got some other books on here that are pretty hefty. But I'm hoping to get to this one soon. The one that I forgot inside. What I was saying, the one that I forgot inside is this one. Uh, Shelby Meheran, Blood and Honey. This is the second one in the Serpent and Dove series. But I also forgot uh, Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller, which is about a girl who gets kicked out of her village for... She gets kicked out of her village. I talk more about this one in my backlist books that I want to read. And then I also forgot this one, which is The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, which is a dark romance. And I talk about this one in my 2020 releases that I want to read. But I also forgot... Sorry about the horrendous lighting. This is why I don't film in front of my shelves because little people leave toys here. But I also have this one, Deep Light by Frances Harrens. I'm not sure what this one is about. Um, the Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon is a very well beloved on booktube so I probably I don't need to talk about that one all right Mickey you gotta move so then I have hiding in the light which is a non-fiction about uh, so this lady risked everything to leave Islam and follow Jesus so I haven't read that one this one is Straight to Love by Martin Luther King Jr. I think it's a little collection. These are all my husband's, so I'm not going to count those. All of those ones I talk about, those are all I read. What else did I leave in here? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. The next one is Undercover Bromance, and truthfully the reason I haven't got to this one is because I kind of keep forgetting about it when I go to pick out romance or series because, and another reason is I haven't heard really good things, but most of the time when I hear that I don't, that other people don't like it, it doesn't really put me off that maybe I won't like it. So that's that one. This one's by Lisa K. Adams, by the way. Next one is Almost a Bride by Joe Watson. The reason I haven't gotten to this one is because I wasn't a huge fan of the first one, but this one does. This one is a romance and it, you know, it's a tropical one. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one and getting into it. The next two are by Scarlet St. Clair. The first one is A Touch of Darkness and the second one is A Game of Fate. Now the reason I haven't gotten to these is because I just got them. I first ordered this one because I thought you were supposed to start with this one, and you're not. You're supposed to start with this one, and I haven't quite decided how I'm going to read the series. I know some people read it. You read all of this one first, and then you go into this one because I know this one isn't finished, but this one is. So I'm looking to, I'm looking to get to these two very, very soon. I know February is, um, Faro Feb Fantasy Romance February. I don't, I didn't get any on my February TBR. So we'll see if I can get some on there if I get all of my TBR done. The next two are kind of like the other ones, but one is actually on my 2020 releases that I wanted to get to, and that is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Ehrmantraut. And the next one is uh, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Ehrmantraut. These things are heavy. 
like these could be weapons. The reason I haven't gotten to these is again I just received them and I'm hoping to get to them soon. The reason I got them is because the third one is coming out soon and I want to get to them. This one is also on my 2020 list of books that I wanted to get to in 2020. Another one that I just recently got was uh, Reborn Yesterday. This is by Tessa Bailey. This is a urban fantasy romance. I really enjoyed Tessa Bailey's other writing. I read uh, The Hot and Hammered and I recently finished that and so I was looking into her other uh, romances because I love her romance writing. This one is She Prays by Debbie Lindell. This is just a little prayer guide that I've wanted to pick up for a while so I did. The next is The Last Nimsara. And I've heard really, really good things about this one. I don't hear many people talking about this one now, but I'm not exactly sure why I haven't picked this one up. Where did I even get this one? Oh, I got this one for a book outlet. Uh, so looking forward to this one. Yeah, it is a YA book, but I'm hoping it doesn't quite read YA, but like a YA. And that's why I only have the first one. Next is another repeat, and that is Roar by Kara Cormick. This is... What is this even about? I don't remember. But I've loved, wanted to read this one for a really long time. And this one is on my backlist of books to read this year. I'm running out of space. The next two are children's classics, I guess you would say. The first is Matilda, and the second is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, both by Roald Dahl. I have read neither, either one of these. I love Matilda. I love the movie. I've heard this one is not like the movie. And Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is just one of those ones that you kind of want to read eventually. So th that's those two. Next one is a repeat that is Catching Jordan by Miranda K Kennelly. Uh, this one is, she's one of the boys. She plays football and she falls for the new hot quarterback. This is also my, on my backlist. Another one on my backlist is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. I read Geekerella and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I'm hoping to read this one and then get on to the next one, which is A Beauty and the Beast. The next two are by Morgan Masson. The first one is Since You've Been Gone, and the second one is Save the Date. Since You've Been Gone um, is about a girl who loses her best friend, or her best friend goes missing, and she leaves her a list of things to do, and I guess she goes through them. I don't know. And then this one, I talked about this one in my backlist book list. So I'm not going to talk about this one. But the thing about Morgan Masson is she writes really, really thick books. And they're kind of daunting. And the one that I read, I've read two, I believe. I read um, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, or Road Trip. And then I read um, The Unexpected Everything. The Unexpected Everything was ridiculously long. So I'm hesitant to go into these ones. But I'm definitely going to give them a try and see if I actually like them. Next is another backlist book, and that is Romancing the Throne by Nadine Jolene Courtley, Courtney. And uh, this is about two sisters, and they both fall in love with the prince. So that is this book. Uh, that's all I know about it. And that, again, is one off of my backlist book list that I want to read. I swear they only do this for me. The Joy is going to be putting all of these back on my shelf. The next three are all Christina Lauren. That is Beautiful Bastard, Beautiful Stranger, and Dirty Rowdy Thing. This one I've already started this series and I re-listened to the first one. So I'm hoping to get to this one very quickly and very soon. Because this one follows another friend. This one follows Lola. This one follows Harlow and Finn, and I really, really liked Harlow in the first book, so I'm looking forward to this one. The next two are both in a series. This one is the first one in a series. This one is also on my backlist book list to get to this year, and then this is the second one in the series that I found at our local shop, our second store shop. The next three, again, are all by the same author, and that is Laura Thalassa. They are all in the Bargainer series. This is book two, A Strange Hymn. 
uh, book 2.5, the novella, which is an em The Emperor of Evening Stars, and then A Dark Hymn, which is book three. This is a completed series. This is a series that I want to finish this year because it is complete, and I want to do that. The next one is The Kinar Captive by Anna Zaris. This one was also just another secondhand store pickup that I really want to get into. I want to get into more indie romance authors because I've heard they're really, really good and they're very steamy. The next is the last one in a series that I'm hoping to finish this year and that is the Gamer Girl series and the last one is Make Your Move. This is by Laura Heffernan. These are super short but I want to finish this one because I've read the other two. The next one is on my most anticipated releases for this year and that is Lore by Alexander Bracken. So I'm not going to talk about this one. This one I'm looking forward to because it's um, mythology based. The next one is, the next four actually are all uh, plays, Shakespeare plays. The first one is Much Do About Nothing, Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer's Night Dream, and Twelfth Night. Those are all my favorites and a few of those I've read but I want to reread them and I don't remember them if I have read them. The next one is Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill. Uh, this is just one of her other little graphic novels that she puts out. The next books are all from the Disney Twisted Tale and the first one is As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita. Uh, the reason I haven't read as old as time is because I tried to read that one a while ago and uh, it's kind of chunky and heavy to get into. Conceal Don't Feel I haven't read because I was going to buddy read that one and that one fell through and so now I'm just going to read them as they come up and in release order from the movies. The next one is Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell. That is a Peter Pan retelling. This is Unbirthday by Liz Braswell. This is obviously Alice in Wonderland. And the last one is So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. And this is a Cinderella. And the last three are all Sarah J. Mass books. And the first one is Queen of Nothing, which is a hefty chunker of a book. And I struggled getting through Air of Fire. And series did not come up this time. Tower of Dawn. The reason I haven't gotten to this one is because this one, I have like two other books before I get to this one. Yeah. I have Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storm. And the last book that I'm going to talk about is the most disappointing. And it is House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City, by Sarah J. Mass. The reason I haven't read this one, and like I said in my 2020 releases, is because I've heard that the second one is coming out, and this one is also over 800 pages. So this would probably take me an entire month to read, and this would be the only thing I read besides audiobooks. So there's that. But I am looking forward to this. I am Mass Trash, and those are the 41 books that I have on my TBR and soon it'll be 43 because I have two pre-orders and a few other books that I want to get this year. But those are all the ones that I have currently right now and hopefully I will get to all these. Now I get to go put them all back because I'm in the game room and there's going to be gaming. So please don't kill me average Joe. <sighs> That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you go to the description box, you will find a link to our website. You will also find a link to No Name Nerd. And that link will take you to our affiliate page where you can get a 10% discount code. And I will see you in the next one.